This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. No, know the, the Great American Bash kind of sucked all the air out of the room uh, for July, and rightfully so, but August was a great month for Jim Crockett Promotions, and this is before, this is back in the era before school started at the 1st of August, like it does now. It's back when school started, like, after Labor Day, so August was like, always kind of a very good month for us, and uh, great times, man, great times. Jim Cornette obviously was a fixture on our show by this time. Oh, for sure, as yeah, well as yeah. should be. Yeah, by doing interviews. So we had a, we had a great time, had a lot of fun with him, and uh, he brought obviously uh, brought a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, sizzle to our show that obviously that David Crockett and I couldn't do because we were kind of the straight guys, and uh, so it was it was cool, man. Uh, I I love this, and it, it's funny that you know each and every week we get on here and we preview the show we look at it see who's on you just kind of never know what we're going to get that's right as far as a good show or a bad show but i think it's very obvious that we've had many many more good shows than bad shows from 86. oh no doubt about it there's been yeah. so many great moments and by the way we're not done towards the end of the month you guys are going to make your debut at the great western forum mm -hmm. uh august 28th 1986. do you remember who the uh who the ring announcer was that night tony yeah it was me how about that yeah Lots of fun stuff coming, man. When you guys hit the West coast and you know, it's, it's crazy to think that as we're talking here, you know, what, like two months after this, right. Magnum's done. Right. It, it's just so much is happening here in 1986. We hope you guys are digging it and we hope that you're going to check out AEW tonight dynamite. And of course, uh, if you believe the rumor in innuendo, it's going to be uh, quite a show this Friday night when no AEW way. makes their debut at the United Center. Unfortunately, I won't be in town for that one, but it feels like wrestling history might be made there if the uh, <clears throat> rumor and innuendo is true. But either way, yeah. we're going to be watching, and I know it's not your thing, Tony, but then this Saturday night is SummerSlam. You know, the biggest mass gathering for a WWE event outside of a WrestleMania ever. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know it's not exactly your bag, baby, but anytime you got 40, 45,000 wrestling fans together, dude, I can't wait to watch that just because it's wrestling's first, like big show post COVID. If there is yeah. such a thing as post COVID and John Cena makes his return, I guess, to the ring. Yeah. It looks like him and, uh, and Roman reigns have, right. uh, decided to heat their feud up a little bit. They had some nice little back and forth this past Friday night where I think, uh, there was some inside baseball, some references, even you would have enjoyed. Yeah. I, uh, and I don't think John Cena is going to have the toilet seat on his head that he had in the movie. And I say that because that's what they taught. That's what they called it in the movie. If you saw suicide squad, I haven't, cause I'm going to, they adult. said, they said, Hey, is that a toilet seat on your head? <laughs> so it was funny. Uh, John did a great job in that movie. I really, really enjoyed that movie. Uh, uh I, I know pro probably a lot of people shit on it, but who gives? Oh no, fun? listen, I, I heard it was, uh, I heard it was critically well received. A lot of my friends it. who, who say, who know, I don't like that type of thing. They're like, no, you would like this. Yeah. Uh, so I think, uh, the wife is going to twist my arm and make me watch it a little later today, but good with that in mind, it feels like it's about that time. It is about that time. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes to the ring, the nature boy, Ric Flair, take a look at him in all his glory. And a big smile on his face. Thank God that he put his false teeth back in his head today. He's got that hair slicked back as only he could. Wait a minute. Here from behind is Conrad Thompson. It's his son-in-law. And he's got that diamond ring that he bought from J.J. Dillon that they presented to J.J. back in August of 86. He hit Ric Flair in the head with it. And Ric has shit his pants again. We're desperately out of time. See you next week on What Happened When. We come to you Wednesdays on Cumulus, but on Mondays exclusively ad-free for our friends on Patron. Patreon.com forward slash WW Monday. And who could forget mm. adfreeshows.com. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.